To create the wing, you're going to be using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and the um, inner color for the wing. I'm using medium weight yarn here with my 5.5 millimeter hook. So the inner color is going to be white for my dragon. And what I'm gonna do first is start with um, three chains. So that's one, two, and three chains. And then I'm gonna do a foundation double crochet in the um, third chain from the hook. So that's yarn over, insert your hook into the third chain, yarn over, pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through one of the loops, yarn over, um, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two. So that's my foundation double crochet. And then I'm going to chain two, one and two, turn the piece, and then I'm going to um, go ahead and put two double crochets in the next stitch. So finding it here, insert two double crochets. After you do that, we're going to row three, we're going to chain two, turn the piece, do one double crochet, and then you're going to do the increase in the next stitch. So in that next stitch, I'm going to put two double crochets in the same stitch. And two. Now, moving on, you're going to um, chain two, turn your piece. You're going to increase in that very first stitch, so I'm going to put two double crochets here. Then double crochet in the next stitch and double crochet in the next. After you do that, we're on to the next row, row five. Here we're going to chain two, turn, and now we're going to double crochet three. So that's one, two, and three. And then in this last stitch, what we're gonna do is put in um, an increase first. So I'm gonna increase here, put in two double crochets, Okay, and after that, I'm going to chain two. And then put in one double crochet in that same stitch. Like so. You'll see that you have this little gap here. That's going to be called the chain two gap because it has um, two chains right in the middle. All right. Um, and now, at this point, we're going to continue on, and I'm going to go ahead and make another chain, a long chain now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and let me just double check here. As I'm designing the wing, I want to know how long of a um, wing I want to do. Um, okay, so I've decided to chain eight here to start, and then in the next row, I'm going to chain two more. That's going to be the start of my next row. Then you're going to turn the piece. We're going to work the other direction. Double crocheting the third chain from your hook. So. I'm going to insert my hook into the third chain right here. Make a double crochet. And then you're going to double crochet across and um, that's going to be nine, excuse me, eight double crochets. So I'm going to insert my hook here. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, so now you'll see this kind of flap come out here. And at this point, um, after you double crochet eight, we are moving into the chain two gap now. And in that chain two gap, you're going to do a double crochet, then chain two, and then double crochet inside like so. Okay, and, oops, I'm sorry. I said one double crochet. It's actually two double crochets at the very end here. Okay, so let me repeat that again, excuse me. It's one double crochet, chain two, and then two double crochets. Now in this next part, we're just going to double crochet across. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, and five double crochets. And here we have our wing so far. Now um, we're going to continue going on. <clears throat> In this next part, we're going to chain two, turn the piece. We're gonna double crochet all the way across until we reach the chain two gap. So that's going to be like this. One, two, three, Four, five, six, and seven. Okay. And um, after you do that, you will arrive at the chain two gap. In the gap, you're going to do um, double crochet twice, chain two, and then double crochet. So in the gap we go, putting my hook in, I'm going to double crochet two times, chain two times, and double crochet in that same gap. Then I'm going to keep going down with my double crochet, so go all the way down. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now, once you reach the end here, you'll notice that um, you um, stop after the 10th double crochet. Um, we're going to add a little bit of length to the tip. So what you'll finish off with is three chains, one, two, and three, and that marks the end of this row. Now we're going to continue on with that next row. We're going to chain two more. We're going to turn our piece, working the other way now, and double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So inserting my hook into the third chain for a double crochet. And then we're gonna double crochet across. So that's 
one more double crochet, two more, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, And 13. All right. So after 13 here, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to come across that chain two gap. And in that chain two gap, you're going to do a double crochet, a chain two, and then two double crochets. So let's do that in the chain two gap. A double crochet, chain two, and two double crochets. And then double crochet all the way across. So that's one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All right. Now what we're going to do is start on the next row, row number nine. Let's do chain two. And you're gonna turn your piece. We're going to double crochet all the way across. That's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. All right, so that's eleven stitches across until you reach the chain two gap. Inside the chain two gap, we're going to, um, excuse me, we're going to double crochet twice, chain two, and then double crochet again. So that's going to look like this. Double crochet twice, chain two, and double crochet. Then we're going to double crochet, oops, all the way across the wing. So let's move down. That's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 
14, 15. Okay, here we are. And we're going to um, now at the very end, after um, 15 double crochets, we're gonna go ahead and chain three as we've been doing to add some length. One, two, three. Now we're going to turn your piece. Um, in this next part, chain two, double crochet in the second chain, excuse me, the third chain from the hook. We're gonna make that into a double crochet. And then double crochet across. So that's one, two, three, four, five, oops, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. All right, so with those eighteen double crochets, it brings you back. <clears throat> And in that chain two gap, we're going to do a double crochet, a chain two, and two double crochets. So that's my double crochet, chain two, and two double crochets. And we're gonna double crochet across the rest of those stitches here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and 13. Okay. And now uh, we've gotten to the end here. We're going to um, simply um, go across, let me see. Because are we now? Okay, we're gonna go across once more. So chain two, turn your piece, double crochet across. Go until you reach that chain two gap. Now that you're um, coming to the chain two gap, you are going to insert two double crochets. Chain two and one double crochet. All right. Let me just count up real quick here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. Making sure I have the right number here. Um, 
Now we're going to double crochet across to the other end. So double crochet all the way across. Alright, so that was 20 double crochets across to the other side. So now that you finished um, crocheting the main part of the wing, we're going to work on the edging and we're going to start off with the inner edging of the wing. So this is the inner part and we're going to do that by, um, instead of turning the piece to work backwards, we're going to go down this slope. So you're basically just going to insert a single crochet all the way around. Um, no need to be counting stitches here. Just kind of eyeball it and um, single crochet around. So here's what I do. I'm just going to single crochet around where I see the outer edge of the wing. Okay, so as you can see, after you have single crocheted around this bottom edge, it creates a much neater look for your wing. What you can do um, optionally is single crochet along this edge against the dragon's body as well, um, but it's optional because this is going to be sewn to the dragon. So you won't be um, really seeing this part. But um, if you'd like to, um, you can go ahead and do that, and I'll show you how it's done. I'm just going to continue um, on this end here, single crocheting all the way up. If you do this, it might make it easier to um, kind of see where your stitches are while you're sewing it onto your dragon's body. But again, know that it's optional to do this section because you're not really gonna see it anyway. So here it is, um, crocheted all the way around there with the wing. After you've gone and crocheted the bottom edge, we're going to go ahead and do the top edge of the wing. And here you can go ahead and attach the um, outer wing color, which is for my dragon, it's blue. So I'm going to attach this blue yarn here to the very edge. And go ahead and single crochet across the entire top edge of this wing. So here I'm just going into each and every stitch 
inserting a single crochet When you get to the chain two gap, you're just going to insert two single crochets in the chain two gap. So here I put in two and then continue along the, the other um, outer part of the wing. So just single crochet in each of these stitches here. And when you reach the very end, oops, okay, when you reach the very end, you can go ahead and just do a, um, um, go ahead and fasten off and you're going to weave in your ends here. And your wing will be complete.